Okay, Savage 308, uh, the AccuTrigger. Um, I uh, just want to kind of show you this problem that me and my son ran into with the AccuTrigger out of the range. Uh, we started having a problem with this little thing they call the Accu Release, where it would just lock solid. Uh, you know, we thought it was a problem with the safety uh, until we did a little Googling <coughs> and research and whatnot. And kind of figured out actually it's 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 the accu trigger. So let me just put the the action in. Okay, so the way it works is, and I'm not a gunsmith, though I have played one on TV. Um, there's a little sear here, right, sitting in that groove, and then when you engage this this blade here, this accu release, then the trigger bang fires, and that's just a really delicate touch. I've I've got the the trigger, this is the trigger adjustment uh, set at its lightest setting just to illustrate this this problem. We had it set um, pretty close to factory, so about two pounds of pull. This is extremely light. I think it's less than a pound. So we would close the action, okay, engage the trigger. Now what happens is that any jolt, see that to the trigger? The, the, the sear hopped out, and this is a safety mechanism it stops the trigger accidentally firing and it see it's caught it but the blade has locked so anyway we're at the range right we're opening we close it boom see that just closing the bolt is causing the trigger to hop right out of that little groove and get caught on the blade so what happens to, with you is you close the bolt you go to pull the trigger and it's like shoot it's stuck and you're fumbling with the safety, like maybe there's a problem with the safety. No. What just happened is that when you closed the bolt, this little sear hopped out of that tiny little groove, boom, and has been caught on the accu-release. Um, the problem is that, you know, this is, this is just right out of the store. I've gone firing the rifle and the, the, the trigger's malfunctioning, not, not that I knew it at the time. So anyway, you can see how, you can see what's happening right there. So, if this happens to you, and you know, I, I don't know, I, I, I get why they've, they've done this Accu trigger, because most triggers in, in you know, retail rifles kind of suck. They're, they're maybe six pounds or something, but I don't know, it doesn't, I'm, I'm, I'm not too impressed, it's just not working for me. So anyway, you got this little um, trigger tension adjustment and basically you just need to put tension on the trigger to the point where it's not doing that anymore. So let's put some tension on the trigger. That's, you know, a couple of turns, right? So now let's close it. Ah, okay, that's better. And you can see I'm trying to be ah uh, still. Okay, you see that? You see that it's still happening. So I don't know. You got to be real careful with this. The other thing that can happen, and they say this in the manual, is if you're not exactly square on this, right? So if you're slightly to the side, depending on, see, see that? How off you are, you can also engage the trigger. So, anyway, bottom line, um, if this happens to you, you've got to put more tension on the trigger. I think, yeah, it sounds good in the literature that you can supposedly have this precision trigger, but I don't think it works in practice. Okay, and that's it.